Today, I'm looking for vintage clothing in a hoarder house. There were clothes in every inch of this place, so stick around to the end of the video to see my entire haul. I found some really cool pieces. What's going on, YouTube? It's been a long time since I've uploaded, but I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going to look through a hoarder house. I've actually never been to this house yet. I just was told that it was a hoarder house, so who knows what we're gonna be walking into. Apparently, this lady used to go to Goodwill like 15, 20 years ago and would buy bags of stuff. But I mean, you just never know if like what I'm hearing is true, especially like from multiple different people. It could be totally different, who knows? But I heard there was some cool vintage clothes in there, so. You just never really know. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Zach and I've been thrifting for like eight years now. Um, I've been selling full time for four years. I mainly post on Instagram and TikTok, but I'm trying to get back into the YouTube game. It's been a while, but I just, I'm obsessed with YouTube. I, I love watching videos, so I just really want to get into it again. Um, let me know down below what find was your favorite. At the end of the video, I'll do a little bit of a haul to show you guys what I found. Obviously. I have no idea what I found yet because I literally haven't gone there, but if I'm posting this video, best believe I found something good. So let's get into it. So right when I walked inside, there was stuff everywhere. Luckily, there was really good natural lighting in this room, so I didn't need my flashlight too much. Immediately, clothes everywhere. The first thing I saw was this vintage Taz jacket, nice big patch on the back, embroidered, and I, didn't, I really didn't know where to look first because there were these racks on the side, so I thought I would check those out. But I had to dig my way through because there was just piles of trash and other clothes just on the ground. Never really know what's going to be in there. I found this cute little cowboy sweatshirt about the size of my hand. And my apologies, some of these videos are vertical, but I had to add them in because I did find some cool stuff on these racks. One of the first interesting things I found was this vintage 1996 USA basketball jersey. I found ones like this that are champion. That's a lot better. This one was just some random brand, so it's not worth a ton of money or anything, but still a cool find. I also found this vintage Jeff Gordon windbreaker. And there was also lots of clothes that were folded up in random boxes. It seems like the owner literally just thrifted these and then folded them up. I'm not sure what her plan really was for these, if she was trying to sell them or donate them or what, but they just stayed in these boxes for a really long time. My footage doesn't even do this place justice. I mean, there were entire walkways that were just full of random stuff. I mean, you can kind of see in the background, there's literal thrift store bags that are piled up. So you know I had to dig through and see what was inside. Even though there was stuff all over the place, I could really tell that this lady knew what to look for and she knew what was nice and high quality. Like I found these two vintage Nike jackets that are really sick. This one had debris all over it. I don't know if there was an animal living in it or what, but it had a really sick patch on the back. I kept looking and here's just a little example. Like I pulled one of these jackets out of the bag. Like this is just a random Nautica jacket, but it still had the Goodwill pull tab on the shoulder, which is crazy. Here's another room. And as you could tell, there is so much stuff in this room. I literally could not even get to the back of this because there were just random pieces of furniture that were blocking my way. So I couldn't get in. It hurt me to my core that I couldn't see what was behind it, but I just physically couldn't move some of the stuff. One of the weird things is that most of these rooms aren't finished at all. She was just using them as storage. So it was kind of a weird eerie feeling seeing like an unfinished room with all of this stuff in it. At this point, I was getting junk drunk because I knew there were cool clothes in this house. I just didn't know where to look. I knew they were in random different places and I just had no idea where to start. Like I did not have the time to move all of that furniture around to see what was behind. Next, I went up to the attic and this place was definitely a lot worse conditions. Seemed like maybe some animals were living upstairs because a lot of the clothes were really stained that were on the floor. It looks like something out of a horror movie. It was really creepy up here, but I had to dig around to see what was down there. There was this one box that had a bunch of vintage clothes in it basically 80s t-shirts and random sweatshirts. These, like I said, are all really stained and I'm always in this weird position where I don't know if I should take something if it's super stained because I know that like there's a potential I can clean it up, but most of the time it's too far gone. It's been like sitting in water and there's big water stains. So it's always just a toss up of if it's worth taking because then I'll end up with just tons of clothes that are just unwearable and I can't even donate them. Like here's a good example, this vintage Gap t-shirt, massive stain on it, but 
potentially I could clean it up and it would be a cool shirt, but I don't even know if it's worth taking just because it's too far gone. And I did find this vintage Nike jacket that was hanging on the rack. You just never know what's gonna be up here. I mean, there could be some really old stuff up there. You just have to look. Uh, here's a couple other jackets that I actually found on my way in, but I didn't show immediately. And this other jacket is one of my best finds of the day, a vintage Chicago Bulls starter jacket. And this one also has its Goodwill tag on it, which is wild to me. I just didn't really know what I was going to find in this place. Here's a quick little clip of what the kitchen scenario looked like. I really wanted to look in these big piles because there was clothes in there but it would literally start an avalanche if I started to dig in there. So I just kind of had to look on the outside. Maybe I can go back and kind of dig through it, but it would have been like a whole ordeal to dig through. Here's what my haul is looking like. Two massive boxes full of clothes. I'll be getting into it all in the recap portion. To end the trip, I found this last shirt that was really interesting. Never seen something like this. It was outside in a box and is completely soaking wet. So who knows how long it was outside, but they ended up giving this to me for free because it was literally outside and almost ruined. But it ended up being one of the cooler shirts I've found just because I've never seen something like it. All right, y'all, I am finally back now. After all those clips, you could tell I found a lot of really good stuff. I wasn't even that excited before I went to it because I feel like more than 80% of the time, you just never find anything. It amounts to nothing because there's just so many variables, whether the seller will sell the stuff, whether they want too much for it, whether they even have good stuff because you know like people just like their own stuff so you never know if there's going to be cool things in there or not but when i walked in pretty much immediately i got hyped because there was a lot of good stuff originally my plan was to go through every item i found and talk a lot about it but i found a lot of pieces so um if you guys want to see a more in-depth video of me talking about every item let me know but right now let's just go over a few of my favorites and i'll show you guys like what i really like about them so let's get into it so here's one of my favorite pickups. This thing was actually outside in a box that had been in the rain for who knows how long. And uh, I pulled this out and I got it for free because it was literally out in the rain. But it's like this towel shirt. I don't know how old it is. It's on this patty tag. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this tag looks a lot like shirts from the 70s and 80s, but who knows really? You guys will have to tell me down below. It's got print all over it's literally made out of a towel i don't know if it, you can tell or not uh but the bad thing about this thing is is this thing was eaten up by some sort of a animal on the side so i don't know if somebody can sew that up or patch it but it was still cool to take home for free but uh yeah i don't know i mean i, could, I guess i could wear it with this massive hole in the side but um yeah Definitely a cool shirt though. I've never found one like this. This one's one of my favorites, vintage Nike, purple. It's got the purple logo and it has this mid 90s, mid to late 90s Nike tag and a sweet green hood. Nothing on the back, unfortunately, but it's still an awesome jacket find. Like all of these, she probably bought at a thrift store or something because they all have price tags on it. Vintage Penn State different graphics all over it all of their old logos this is one of my personal favorite penn state sweatshirts i found this one before some people just know what to look for like she just kept picking up nike stuff vintage clarion university nike football and she she bought these all for really cheap like this is 75 cents another penn state one this one's really heavy it's on a great tag toltex cotton athletic weight super heavy high quality it's a good sweatshirt i didn't even show this one it's like an early 90s absolute vodka like parody shirt absolute beach party daytona beach on that tag it's got a whole bunch of writing on the back if you want to pause and read i'm not going to read it for you guys i thought this one was pretty interesting it's on this like tommy hill figure like early 2000s but on the back rainbow never seen that before Honestly, when I saw it, I thought it was something from the 70s or 60s, but no, not even that old. Starter, Penn State. She definitely picked up a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Here's another one. Mighty Ducks jersey t-shirt. Nothing on the back. There's a bunch of Nike shirts, but they're mostly these like early 2000 silver tag ones. Here's a sleeveless one. 
Here's one of the cooler ones I found, USA 96. I was hoping this was Champion when I found it, but it's just some random brand on it. Here's another like generic NASCAR embroidered jacket. It has that on the sleeve and then on the front just says NASCAR. So I showed a clip of this. This is a Taz jacket. Uh, what I didn't know was that first of all, well, first of all, it's stained a lot on the front and it's from Six Flags. But what I didn't know was that it actually has print on the inside. So it's reversible, which is pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't have any other, like it doesn't say Six Flags or anything on the other side. So I think it'll clean up. Like these stains just look like random things. So hopefully it'll clean up. It's another cool one, Jeff Gordon 24, like a lightweight windbreaker. And then on the back, it has Gordon 24. I rarely find these ones. This is a Tommy Hilfiger um, patch sleeve jacket. These were so hype when I first started like thrifting and getting into this stuff. But now I feel like nobody posts about them. I, I still feel like they're pretty cool. It's got this like hidden hood and it says Tommy Hilfiger on there. Just, they're really high quality jackets. I can see why people really went crazy for them. So here's the first thing I found. It's a vintage Chicago Bulls starter jacket. So nice. There's the tag size XL and the back has the bull on it. And another good thing about this jacket is it still has the hood on it and it's got this like two-tone color with this sweet, a baby Cowboys crew neck starter. US diesel truck race embroidered. It's like a satin jacket and on the front it just has the logo again. Here's another kids one starter. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's still kids. Little kids Penn State. Little kid Nike sweatshirt. Another little Nike sweatshirt. This one's a cutoff, which is actually pretty sweet. And good Nike tag. So I actually didn't even show these jackets when I found them because the seller pulled them out for me, but they're vintage NFL like puffer jackets. Uh, I've never seen this tag before. It has the Pink Panther on it and it's like a insulation brand uh, jacket, which is pretty sweet. None of them have anything on the back, but they still have their team logo on the front. Here's the rest of them. We got the 49ers. We got the Redskins and we got the Steelers. So pretty cool. And just here's another look at the tag. Just such a weird one. Here's another good jacket. These ones you should always look out for, but specifically you should look out for the Jeff Hamilton like NASCAR jackets. But this one isn't a Jeff Hamilton, but it's like the same style. It's like a actual like NASCAR uniform jacket. This one, Bill Elliott. Um, yeah, normally these Bill Elliott ones have McDonald's on them, but this one is just like the McDonald's colors and just Bill Elliott, which is a little bit weird, but, uh, and it's got Dodge on the shoulders. This is a pretty cool vintage Nike hat. As you can tell, like a lot of these things really need washed. In those clips, you could see there's like acorns and shit in like all of the pieces. You just know that there were squirrels and other animals living in and around those clothes for a long time. That's like one thing that people don't like about like going into houses that have been sitting there for a long time because you know there's been some kind of animal activity. But typically whenever you go in after a long period of time, the animals really aren't in there anymore because they just lived there when they had like food and stuff in there. But you just never know. Like I've found what like mice have hopped out whenever I'm looking through stuff. It's the worst feeling ever, but it's worth it when you can find cool stuff. Here's one of my favorite poo shirts that were in there. This one's almost like a spray paint, like hyper realistic image. I love it. Here's one of the only shirts that I picked up out of the attic. A lot of those ones were really stained. I think there was probably like bats or something that were living upstairs. So they were all pretty stained, but this shirt I could probably clean up. It's like, oh no, a gray hair. Uh, this shirt's from the 80s. It just has a really weird fit to it. But uh, yeah, like it's almost at the bottom. It's almost like a sweatshirt, but it's a t-shirt. So that's pretty much everything I found at the sale. Tons of fun to look through everything. I took the gamble by filming the intro before I even went to the sale, before I knew I found anything. But I just had a feeling. I just knew that, you know, the mood was right. Sometimes you can just feel it in the air that you're gonna find something good. And today we lucked out. Uh, let me know which find was your favorite. I think mine was either the 
Chicago Bulls jacket, those like four NFL jackets or that like uh, towel shirt, beach shirt thing. Obviously that one has a massive hole in it. So it's a little bit less wearable than the other ones, but I just really, uh, I think that's like an interesting piece of clothing. Another thing I like to do is like every time I have a really good find, like a big score, I definitely like to keep at least one piece from each of those finds just as a little like, like memory of the event. And I'll definitely keep that beach one. Hopefully I can clean it up and maybe get somebody to fix up the hole. Uh, who knows? But yeah, let me know which find is your favorite. Um, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to try to make videos where I go places, videos about me talking about stuff. Who knows what you're going to see. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.